Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to look at uh, 3.2. This is called complex fractions and unit rates and this can be found on page 194. All right, uh, make sure you get your name up at the top if you don't already. And go ahead and put today's uh, date along with your class hour. And let's go ahead and take a look. So when you look at the um, title for today, you hear the word complex fractions. You're like, oh no, here we go. All right, these are actually very, very simple. These are actually probably my most favorite things to do just because um, they look really, really complicated. But when you understand what it means, it's like, oh, we've done this before because we actually have. All right, so let's take a look at our learning goals for today. So what we're going to learn is how to simplify complex fractions. Simplify complex fractions. And then again, because we're dealing with unit rates, we're going to use these then to find unit rates. So we're also going to find unit rates. Okay, now remember, a unit rate just means one of something, all right, which we practiced in the last um, lesson that we did. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. It says to simplify, and how you read this is it's one third divided by one half. So you guys hear me say all the time, what do fractions mean? They mean division, okay? Well, what are we dividing? In this case, we're dividing fractions. Well, we've already learned how to divide fractions, right? So what this means is uh, it's one third divided by uh, one half. So it's a fraction inside of another fraction, all right? So this is actually a little bar right here, okay? It doesn't always show up the best, and that's one complaint I have with the book is that it doesn't show those very well. Um, but that's what it actually means. So there's actually a bigger fraction bar there. So let's write out what this really means. So this really means one third divided by and then one half. All right, so then we ask ourselves, what do we actually do to divide fractions? All right, so remember our video tells us keep, change, flip. Yeah, that's the action. Everyone's gonna know how we're dividing fractions. Okay, so we're gonna write keep, change, flip under here, just as a little reminder. All right, so let's write out, write out what this really means. So what does one-third uh, divided by a half mean? It really means one-third for keep, change it to times, and then flip it so it's going to be two over one. All right, and then remember from here, you're allowed to cross cancel or just reduce, however you like to say it, um, if you need to. And then from there, you work across the top and across the bottom. So there's nothing to reduce because everything's either one or prime. So we're just going to multiply. So one times two, which is two, and three times one, which is three. So the answer is two-thirds, and that's it. All right, so we've done these before. I know it looks crazy, and that's why I love teaching this part of the uh, year because we're really not learning new math. We're just kind of seeing it in a new way, but everything we've done before at some point, okay? So go ahead and pause it, and let's try the next one on our own. All right, let's take a look. So this is one-third divided by one-fourth. So let's write that out first. So it's going to be one-third divided by one-fourth. We're going to keep change flip, so that means one-third times four over one. And that's going to give us four-thirds. And we know that makes one and a third. All right, let's look at the next one. It's two-thirds divided by three-fourths. So two-thirds divided by three-fourths. So that means two-thirds times four-thirds, and then we still can't reduce or anything like that, so we're just going to multiply across the top, so two times four would give us the eight, and three times three is nine, so eight-ninths. And then one C is one-fifth divided by six-sevenths, so one-fifth divided by six-sevenths, that means one-fifth times seven six. Nothing reduces uh, on top and bottom uh, or diagonally, so we're good there. So we have one times seven, which is seven. Five times six, which is 30. So seven thirtieths. And that's it, all right? So if you need to um, go back and review that again, you can, otherwise we'll keep moving on. All right, now the next one is a little bit different. So this says simplify one fourth divided by two. 
All right, so if you can kind of tell, this second line here is just a little bit bigger than the, the upper line. All right, and that's where the division sign comes in. I know some kids have a hard time um, figuring that out. So if you're not sure, just ask me and I'll uh, tell you where it is. Okay, so it's one fourth and then divided by two. So one fourth divided by, now we need to write two as a fraction. So two as a fraction means two over one. And then from there, we're going to do our normal stuff. So that would make this one fourth times a half. And that's gonna give us one on top and eight on the bottom. And the answer is one eighth. Okay, all right, let's go down to the got it questions. I'm gonna read all three of them real quick. So if you wanna just wait for just a second, let me read them all so you know where the break is. Um, if you think you've got it, then go ahead and continue on. All right, so 2a actually says 2 thirds divided by seven. So that's right here. And it's 2 fourths divided by two. And then it's 14 divided by seven ninths. So that one's a little bit different. All right, okay, go ahead and pause it and try these on your own and come back to me just as soon as you're ready. And let's go ahead and take a look. So it's 2 thirds divided by seven. So that means 2 thirds divided by seven over one. That means two thirds times one seventh. Nothing can uh, cross cancel or reduce, so we're good to go. So two times one is two, and seven times three makes 21. All right, two B. So this is two fourths divided by two. So that would be two fourths divided by two over one. We're gonna flip it, so that's gonna be two fourths times a half. All right, now this one does have some canceling. I can take out my twos here. So that's a one and a one. And that makes one times one, which is one, and one times four, which is four. So one fourth. All right, and then I usually do get asked, well, if I know two fourths is one half at the beginning, can I just go ahead and reduce it? Yes, okay. You can certainly do that. As soon as you see something reduces, you can just rewrite the whole thing. So you could have technically did one half times a half um, there at the beginning. That's fine. All right, and then 2C. It's 14 divided by 7 ninths. So does it matter that the whole number's on the top? No, that's not going to change anything. It's still going to be the same thing. The only difference is we're just going to have to make it into a fraction first. So we're going to have 14 over 1 divided by 7 ninths. Okay, we need to uh, change all that around. So it's going to be 14 over 1. We're going to change it to times, and that becomes 9 sevenths. And that works out great because now we can reduce here. So this is going to become a 1 and a 2. 2 times a 9, which is 18 over 1, and 18 over 1 is 18, all right? So hopefully you did pretty well with those because that's about as difficult as it gets for today. All right, uh, go ahead and take a minute to catch up if you need to. Otherwise, let's go ahead and turn the page and let's continue on. All right, number three says, Josiah can jog one and one-third miles in one-fourth hour. Find his average speed in miles per hour. All right, so this is the second part of the objectives, which is going to be finding unit rates using this. Okay, so what does all this mean? This means one and one-third divided by one-fourth. Okay, now we don't write it like that, obviously, because that looks really, really weird. So yes, you could technically use a division symbol, so let's do that. So let's write out what it means. So it's one and one third divided by a fourth. Okay, now we know when we're dividing fractions, we can't have mixed numbers. We have to change those into improper. So one and one third is actually four thirds. So it's gonna be four thirds divided by a fourth. All right, now we still have to keep change flip it. So I'm showing a lot of steps here. You can kind of skip them as we get better at it. So it'll be four thirds, change it to times, and now flip it so it's gonna be four over one. So that really didn't help because now we have, um, our fours aren't gonna cancel out, but that's okay. So we're ready to solve it. Four times four, that's gonna give us 16. And then three times one would give us three. All right, now we can't leave it improper, of course. So three goes into 16 five times, which is 15, with one left over. So that'd be five and one third. And then we do need to label this one so it's miles per hour. Let's do MPH for short there. All right, so I showed it using every single little step, all right? 
Um, honestly, what I would have done if this would have been me is I would have started with the one and one third. I knew that was four thirds already, so I would have just jumped straight over here to the third step, which is four thirds, change it to times, and then go ahead and move it to uh, four over one. All right, if that's too much for you, then obviously take your time and show each little part there so you don't get lost in the process there. But for most people at this point in the year, they can pretty much see how all that's going to turn out really quick and do that. So just be careful, all right? It's obviously easy to make a mistake. It's easy to get in the rut and put four thirds times and then forget to flip it and make it one fourth. Um, so just be careful that you make sure that you do flip it. All right, if you uh, think you're ready, go ahead and pause it and try 3A and 3B. If not, then let's go ahead and do 3A all together and then we'll uh, wait and do 3B on our own. Okay, so 3A says a truck driver drove 350 miles in eight and three fourth hours. What is the speed of the truck at miles per hour? All right, so um, instead of writing out the whole entire complex fraction, let's just go ahead and write it as division here. So we need uh, miles per hour. So miles needs to go first, so that's 350, and that would go over one, okay? We're going to divide it by eight and three fourths. So we take eight times four, which is 32, and we're going to add 3 to it, so that's going to make it 35. So that'll be 35 fourths. All right, then we're ready to change it, so it's going to be 350 over 1 times 4 over 3, 35. And that works out great. We know 35 goes into 350 10 times, so that really uh, reduced it down for us. And then we have 10 times 4, which is just 40. And that's it, so 40 miles per hour. So that one looked complicated, but actually it turned out pretty decent. All right, let's go ahead and look at 3B. It says Aubrey can walk four and a half miles in one and a half hours. Find her average speed in miles per hour. So um, let's see here. So we have four and a half, and right, we need miles first. Yes, miles. Okay, so four and a half, so that would be two times eight for four, or sorry, two times four, which is eight, plus one, which would be nine. So nine halves. Divided by, and then one and a half we know is three halves, so divided by three halves. Okay, we'll go ahead and change it, so it'll be nine halves times two thirds. Got lots of canceling on this one. We got one here. Three does go into nine, so it goes in one time there and three times there. So I'm up with three times one over one times one, which is simply three. So that'll be three over one, which is three. In this case, we're again in miles per hour. And there we go. All right, go ahead and pause it if you need to take a second to catch up. Otherwise, let's go ahead and move on. All right, example four says write three, 33 and a third percent as a fraction in simplest form. Okay, so we haven't really talked about percents yet this year. Um, I'm not sure, maybe when we talk about fractions, we may have talked about a percentage here or there, but um, I don't think we really have. So remember that a percent means out of 100, right? You guys always ask me, well, what's my grade? Okay, I always say, well, figure it out. Just divide it and then move the decimal over, which is, uh, gives you uh, the percent then, right? Okay, so we're going to write this actually over 100. So what this really means is 33 and a third over 100. Okay, so what we need to do is the same thing. So we're going to take 3 times 33, that's 99. We're going to add the numerator back in, so that makes it 100. So this is actually 100 thirds divided by, and then 100, which is going to be 100 over 1. All right, from there, we're going to keep change flip. So that's going to make it 100 thirds times 1 over 100. And that worked out awesome because now my hundreds go away because they just go into each other once. And what am I left with? One third. And again, we got to write it in simplest form, which it is. All right, so one third. So on all of these percent questions, all you need to do is take the percent they give you and put it over 100, and then you'll continue on just like normal, okay? So it's not really anything new, it's just you gotta remember that a percent is out of 100. Okay, there are four of them down below, so um, if you need to do the first one or two with me again uh, for another um, quick lesson, that's fine. Otherwise, just make sure you definitely pause and try C and D on your own. Um, if you think you're ready, go ahead and pause it and do all of them and just catch up to us when you're ready. 
Okay, let's take a look here. So it's four and a half percent. I'm gonna write these. Um, yeah, I can squeeze them in. All right, so I'm not gonna show every single little step just because we know what we're doing. So two times four is eight, plus one makes nine. So that's nine halves. So it'll be nine halves divided by 100 over one. Okay, we're gonna change that to nine halves times one over 100. And nothing actually cancels here, so I'm just left with 9 over 200. A little bit better there. There we go. Okay, so 9 over 200. So that one didn't have any canceling, which is okay. It's just less work for us. All right, let's try B. So that's 12.5%. So that's going to be 2 times 12. That's 24. Plus 1 makes it 25. So we're going to have 25 halves divided by, and then um, 100 over 1. We're going to keep change flip it, so it's going to be 25 over 2. Change it to times, and that's going to be 1 over 100. And then from there, we're going to uh, cross cancel. So 25 does go into 100, so that's one time there and four times here. Uh, no, we can't take the 2 and the 4 because they're on the same side. Remember, one has to be on the north, one has to be in the south. All right, so we have 1 times 1, which is 1, and then 2 times 4, which is 8, so that's going to make it 1 eighth. All right, go ahead and pause if you haven't already and try C and D by yourself. And let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. So it's 10 and 2 thirds, so that's going to be 30 uh, 2 thirds. And then divide it by, that'll be 100 over 1. Let's change it, so it'll be 32 thirds times 1 over 100. All right, uh, so let's see. What does go into 32 and 100? Obviously, 2, 4, uh, that might be it. I think just 4. Okay, so let's reduce it by 4. If there's something else, we'll figure it out. So if I reduce it by 4, that's going to be by 25 here and 8 there. And yeah, that's it because there's nothing with, with 8 and 25. So 8 times 1, which is 8. 3 times uh, 25, that's going to make it 75. So 8 75ths. And three and a third percent, so three times three is nine, plus one makes ten, so it's gonna make it ten thirds divided by a hundred over one. And we're going to do ten thirds times one over a hundred, and that worked out great. Ten is a factor of a hundred, so that goes in one time there and ten times there. One times one is one, and three times ten makes thirty, so I'm left with one thirtieth. And that's it, guys. So um, that's it for today's lesson. Um, if you need to rewind any of that and watch it again, obviously do that. Um, otherwise, um, go ahead and continue on and uh, give me a like and subscribe. Thanks.